So I get this question quite often. Bandu, how do I get better at Beat Saber? How do I improve? How do I pass this specific level? Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks. And hopefully one of the things that I'm going to mention in this video might just help you. By the way, Christmas just passed. So you probably got yourself a VR headset and you're a completely brand new player to Beat Saber. If that's the case, welcome to the community. My name is Bandu. I like to play a lot of Beat Saber. I also stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bandut. I stream Beat Saber. I also stream other other VR games and other other Steam games in general. So if you guys learn something new, be sure to hit that follow button. I would very much appreciate it. If you're brand new to the YouTube channel, be sure to hit that sub button as well. I'm going to be splitting my tips into two different categories. One of them being the vanilla experience and the other one being the modded experience. The vanilla experience is going to be all the tips that is included in the base game. That means you don't need to download any kind of mod or plugin for all of these tools to work in the game. The modded experience are going to be plugins that I suggest you download in order for you to have a better experience experience in the game starting with the vanilla tips i want to go over the game settings with you guys so under player options you can see static lights and sometimes players use this because the lights are too distracting in the background so turning this on might help you visually see the game i sometimes use this whenever there are just too many lights flashing in the background and it's hard for me to focus on the game advanced hud allows you to see a couple of more things one of them being the song duration and the other one being your accuracy and your rank i like to use this so i can see my accuracy and my exact rank for that song reduce debris now this is a huge game changer if you have this disabled that means once you cut a block it'll you'll see the debris fall to the floor but if you have this enabled that means once you cut a block it'll just boop, disappear it's gone you'll never see it ever again and why this helps is because once you cut once you cut a block you can see the arrow right behind it you can see the upcoming block immediately i highly recommend that you guys turn this on i know you lose some style points but you will learn how to read the arrows a little better and once you do get used to it you probably never want to turn it off ever again high note spawning effect what this does if you have it turned off is when the notes spawn in you'll see this light coming out from above them if you have it turned on it'll completely get rid of that and once again it'll help you read and focus on the game a little better another thing i want to talk about are your settings you can always room adjust yourself in case you're too close to a wall, a table, or an object, which is very, very nice. Also, another thing too is that you can modify the position and the rotations of your controllers. I personally do not like the default index positions and rotations, so I had to modify it so that I can play at a comfortable setting. You can take... You can take my settings if you guys like, but keep in mind, it's not going to be for everybody. So you can use this as a template and modify it from there, uh, but just, you know, find whatever you feel is comfortable for yourself. $100 bills, $100 bills, $100 bills. Bump, 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 bump. So you're brand new to Beat Saber and you're trying to pass Breezer on expert mode, but you keep failing about halfway through the song. What do you do? Use the practice tool. It's right next to the play button. Just click on practice and you skip to where you're failing, maybe a little bit behind so that you can be, you can prepare yourself and slow down the song down to like 75%. I don't recommend going all the way down to 50% because personally for me, I feel like I don't learn anything. So just keep it at like 70%, 75% and try to play the song. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, let's just say that you failed right there on a normal run, but because you slowed down the song, you were able to pass that section, all right? So now what do we do? Once you pass that section, move it up by 5% and keep incrementally, slowly increase the speed up to 100%. So now we're up to 80%. Let's try that section again, right here. Bam, pass that section. All right, let's speed up the song again, 85%. And slowly but surely, you'll start understanding the pattern. And you just keep rinse and repeating until you get to 100%. And at this point, it should be a little bit easier. It might make a little bit more sense. And trust me, I've been doing this for such a long time for a lot of songs that I do that I cannot pass. And because of the practice tool, I was able to pass those levels pretty easily once I reached 100% speed. Let's just say that you can't pass expert difficulty on that one song you've been stuck with for quite a while now. That probably means you're not there yet and you have to drop down the difficulty and just keep playing Beat Saber, try to gain more experience until you feel comfortable going back to Expert Plus and seeing, seeing if you can pass that level. Another piece of advice I can give is try changing the colors to your favorite colors. Sometimes seeing your favorite colors visually might actually help you perform a little better the game so just click on override default colors 
click on this edit button and you can change the blocks, the lights, and even the walls. One thing you're probably asking, are modifiers helpful? Personally for me, I don't use modifiers to try to get better at the game if that makes sense. I use modifiers as a way to kind of challenge myself. I like to put on a faster song with disappearing arrows. So let's, let's just say for example, back to earlier, my statement earlier about not being able to pass expert. You can't pass expert, but what if you turn on faster song on hard mode? You might just be able to pass it. It depends on how well you can actually read the blocks, the arrows, all that, all that jazz. So you never know. It might be a good idea to try out Faster Song on hard mode and see if you can pass that. All right, we are now done with the vanilla part of the game. Everything from here on now, I'm going to be talking about the modded experience of Beat Saber. And also just a quick little note, I'm referring to the PC version of Beat Saber. Uh, I'm not sure if any of the mods that I mentioned work for the Quest or the Quest 2. And I'm sorry, PSVR players, but you guys don't have access to any kind of mods in general. So, yeah, that's a bit of a yikes. The first mod I believe everyone should download are custom sabers. You can download more custom sabers over on modelsaber.com. I'll have that listed down below in the description. You can browse through that website and you can download over 100 mods that, that people have uploaded themselves. But I like to use thin sabers. You can see the majority of the of the catalog of sabers that I have are fairly thin. I'm not too big of a fan with thicker sabers. For example the neo katanas you can see that these are kind of thick compared to something like like this laser saber v2 and the reason why i like using thinner sabers is because when you're swinging around since the sabers are thin you're you're allowed to see the notes a little tiny bit better and also the trails play a huge part some some custom sabers have like some long annoying trail while some others have like a shorter trail if you play beat saber on pc chances are you already have custom songs downloaded and if that's the case you're probably wondering how do i find songs that are within my skill level well custom songs is is a very lengthy topic that varies from person to person if you're someone that's brand new to the game you have only 10 20 30 hours within Beat Saber. When you click on more songs, there is a search function on top right here and look for a mapper called Joe Tastic. This guy, he caters towards the, the beginner audience more than anything. And he's uploaded more than like a hundred songs. He, literally this guy has so many songs uploaded. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm actually surprised that this person can, 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 can push out so many songs so fast. But if you click on the song, you can kind of you can read the description yourself if you want to read that. But there are some levels that he upload that contains more than just expert plus. Like this one, for example, this has expert plus, expert, and hard mode. And if you just as long as you keep scrolling through songs, you might find one that has easy mode, hard mode, expert, and expert plus. So just find whatever level you think might you might like download it and play it if you're a more experienced player you know someone that has more than 100 hours in beat saber finding custom songs within your skill level is going to be a trial and error for you for the most part you want to keep an eye on the mapper because if you find a mapper that you like let's just say mapper carl for example you like mapper carl you can you want to write down his name and search up through his songs mapper search for uh after this downloading search for oh lag there we go search for carl right Carl and you're gonna download all the maps that are made by mapper Carl just a small piece of advice when you're trying to find new songs Another great way of finding custom songs is by watching twitch streamers Which by the way, I happen to be one twitch.tv slash bando be sure to hit that follow button if you guys are liking this video Sometimes I have viewers write down the songs that I'm playing so that when they hop on beat Saber themselves They can download that song themselves and try it out anyways I don't want to stretch this video on for too long I want to keep this information short and digestible for you guys So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna drop some videos down below from cube community and they have made videos on how to improve your accuracy uh everything about challenge maps and just maybe giving some tips and tricks that you didn't know about beat saber that might apply to you and you might become a better player i hope you all enjoyed and learned something new today until then i'll see you next time peace